Hey, what's happening? This is Lionel. Today we have a budget phone that is called Kubot X18 Plus. So what's special about it? It costs about 120 bucks, but you can get it for less than 100 bucks. And for that price, you get 18 by 9 aspect ratio display, which is brilliant, by the way. Also, you get decent specs for the price, pretty nice design. And as always, if you want to learn all the pros and cons, stay tuned for the full review. A huge 6 inch display is definitely one of the highlights of the phone. It not only has 18 by 9 aspect ratio, but it also sports tiny bezels, making the X18 Plus one of the better looking phones in this price range. That display is really good too and I found it to be pretty sharp for everyday use. The overall build quality and aesthetics are great, even though the glossy backplate is prone to fingerprints, the phone looks really nice. I'm not sure what the phone is made of, but it seems that Kubot used either glass or quality plastic on the back and the metal frame on the sides. I also found the buttons to be pretty nice and responsive. We have a dual camera system on the back with a powerful 20 megapixel shooter. You also get a pretty accurate fingerprint scanner, a 13 megapixel selfie snapper, and a bright notification LED light. We do have a headset jack that provides decent sound quality, but the phone still uses the micro USB port. The loudspeaker is kind of average, just like on most of the cheap phones. As far as specifications go, we don't have anything special going on. In fact, the phone uses the same chipset many cheap phones have. In terms of gaming, the phone could perform a little bit better, but that's expected considering the type of the chipset inside. 3D games are playable, but you should expect to see quite a few skipped frames. Also, the phone gets quite hot even after 5 minutes of gaming, but it does not overheat to uncomfortable levels. As far as user interface goes, the Kubot X18 Plus runs Android 8 out of the box and we don't have any bloatware, any unnecessary features that we would never use and that's why I love this phone because it's fast, fluid, responsive. Obviously we have a few extra features, for example you can customize some display settings, LED notification light, also we can use the uh, fingerprint for fingerprint gestures and but that's about it. As I said, the most important thing for me on any budget phone is that the device is fast, fluid, even after installing quite a few apps, you know, like I usually do. Keep in mind that I tested the camera on the cloudy day because it's still a dark winter. Anyway, you can get some pretty good looking shots with this camera for such a cheap phone. Also, even the night image quality is pretty good for a budget device thanks to 20 megapixel sensor. The portrait shots are not the best, but they will look quite nice on social media. As far as selfie image quality goes, I can say the same, they will look pretty good on social media. 1080p video looks surprisingly decent as there is plenty of detail. Also I like that the continuous autofocus feature works well. 720p selfie video looks pretty good too, way better than most of the phones in this price range. I found the call quality to be decent and signal reception is great. Also other connectivity options like GPS work just fine. However, there aren't too many sensors on board, which is quite frustrating. Battery life has been great, I could get over 6 hours of screen on time while using the phone mostly for the basic stuff on social media, taking some pictures and so on. Overall, the Kubot X18 Plus shapes up to be a pretty good budget phone. My main concern remains 3D gaming performance, but that's expected due to the chip inside and the fact that the phone was not designed for gamers anyway. Also, I'm sad that there is no gyroscope sensor on board. On the other hand, I love the design of the phone, the display, fast and clean Android 8 user interface, good battery life, and even pretty decent camera. Therefore, I could say that the Kubot X18 Plus is a pretty good phone for the price, despite a few flaws. 
at the end of the day, Kubot X18 Plus definitely has a few flaws to consider, you know, like any other budget device, but for the price, I think it brings quite a bit of value to the table. But what do you guys think about this phone? As always, drop me a comment down below. Also, drop me a comment down below if you have any questions. Please like the video if you liked it. Please subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And as always, it was Linus. Thank you for watching and see you soon.